हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन फॉर सी एस आई नेट मैथमेटिक्स सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम द टॉपिक रियल एनालिसिस बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू टू क्वालिफाई दिस एग्जाम वी बिलीव दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो थ्री सिंपल स्टेप्स prepare with the necessary and sufficient material practice with the topic wise test series and perform with full length papers for more details you can contact us at our whatsapp number or register on our website mathsdna.com moving on to the question the question is which of the following statements is or are correct option a the set 1 Minus one, one one by two, minus one one by two, one one by three, minus one one by three is open but not closed. Option B, the same set is closed but not open. Option C, exactly one of A or B is correct, and option D, none of them is correct. Before we go to the solution, first. let us understand the question what details are given and what is the question based upon firstly they have given you a set not a sequence secondly they are asking you about the set that whether the set is open or closed so to solve this you need to be aware about the definitions of closed set and open set let us solve this useful definitions as well as important definitions for this question firstly closed set if every limit point of a set is contained in the set itself then such a set is called closed set see this is a question in which you are asked about the set so the limit point should also be about the set not the sequence secondly for open set if every point of a set a is an interior point of a then a is always called an open set now these are the definitions which will be useful to solve this question but in this definitions in closed set we have defined limit point and in open set there comes interior point so let us go through the definition of limit point once as well as interior point to understand the question properly now what is the limit point of a set a point p belongs to r that is a set of real numbers is called the limit point of a set a belongs to r if for each epsilon greater than 0 the open interval p minus epsilon and p plus epsilon contains a point of a other than p now when we will apply this definition on the question you will be able to see that whether the given points are limit point or not see the important part is p minus epsilon and p plus epsilon contains a point of a other than p so the whatever point you have taken to check whether that point is a limit point or not you need to find other point other other point in that open interval now for the interior point of the set the point x belongs to a is called an interior point of a if there exists a neighborhood containing x see the word here neighborhood is important it says that there exists a neighborhood containing x and contained in a so the whole neighborhood should be contained in a not just the point or not just any other point whole neighborhood should be contained in a then and only then we can say that the point x is an interior point yes the first the first point says that x should belongs to a so in the interior point the points has to be from the set but for the limit point it is not necessary p belongs to r so points can be outside the set also now let us go through our questions set which is given as 1 minus 1 i have just simplified the terms that is 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 4 by 3 minus 4 by 3 and so on if you see this carefully the first point is 1 second is 1.5 and then the other terms tends to 1 that is 4 by 3 will be less than 1.5 3 by 2 Similarly, next term term will be 5 by 4, which will be again less than 
4 by 3 and all the terms will tend to 1. Similarly, for minus 1, minus 1, minus 3 by 2, there is minus 1.5 and then minus 4 by 3 will come closer to minus 1. So, let us check whether 1 and minus 1 are the limit points or not. So, let x equals to 1. Now, this will be a limit point of a because for any epsilon greater than 0, when you take 1 minus epsilon and 1 plus epsilon, it contains a point of a other than 1 because the points 3 by 2, 4 by 3, 5 by 4, 6 by 5, all these points will come near 1 and no matter how small epsilon you take, at least one point will be contained in that open interval. So, one will be a limit point as well as for minus one. When you take minus one and for any epsilon greater than zero, the interval minus one minus epsilon and minus one plus epsilon will contain a point of A other than minus one. Why? Because the points minus three by two, minus four by three, minus five by four, minus six by five and so on all these points will come closer to minus 1 and no matter how small epsilon you take at least you will find one point that is containing uh, that is contained in the open interval and so minus 1 will also be a limit point now comes the point 3 by 2 that will not be able to become a limit point because if you take 3 by 2 minus epsilon and plus epsilon it will not contain any point of the set because you can take so small epsilon that it will not be having any other point of A. So, no other point can be limit point. For better understanding, you can draw a line and then plot the points on them and then simplify. That will give you a better idea for this. And so, the limit points of the set are only 1 and minus 1 and both the points are contained in the set. So, the set is a closed set. Now, from here directly we can say that if it is closed, it cannot be open because there are only two sets, empty set and the real line itself, which is open as well as closed. But we will go through definition and we will check whether the set is open set or not using interior points definition. The same set again. Now, for the interior point, so, no point can be interior point. Why? Because no neighborhood for any x will be contained in A. See, the whole neighborhood cannot be contained in A. Definitely, it can have some points from A, but all the points cannot be contained. For example, let us take x equals to 1. So, no matter how small epsilon you take that is greater than 0, the whole open interval that is whole neighborhood 1 minus epsilon and 1 plus epsilon will never be contained in A completely. So, no point of A can be its interior point and so A is not an open set. So, A is a closed set and it is not open. So, the correct answers will be option B and option C which says that exactly one of A or B is correct. So, here B is correct. So, the correct answers are B and C. Be very careful when you are solving the questions from part C. You need to tick all of the correct answers then and only then you get the marks thank you for more questions you can visit our youtube channel and become a member of our social club also join our whatsapp group the links are given below in the description thank you